All righty, so here you go, final product. All righty, we're here at uh, Gwen Motorsports Trials Training Complex, getting ready to uh, beef up this little uh, Montessa 300, 2018 300 double R. Got the uh, SC3 uh, starter kit. I'm going to install on it. Just washed off the bike a little bit and getting ready to unbox her and see what we got. Alrighty. So it comes in a plain brown wrapper. Oh, let's see what all they sent. Well, there's your. Uh, New side cover with the starter already installed. Starter relay. Starter relay with the fuses. I'll pull it out, don't you? There's the new uh, flywheel with your starter gear on it. Battery. A battery and mountain bracket. Battery leads. Battery connectors. Wire harness and install the, the starter wiring harness. And a new kill switch. All integrated. Oh, and there's a couple more things buried in here. That's cool. What does that say? Magic start. I hadn't even heard about that. Must be like a choke. That all was in there. Oh, well, there's your gasket. New side case gasket. And some zip ties. Alrighty. Well, there she is in a nutshell. It looks like everything you're going to need. <clears throat> We're going to... Uh, Get the oil drained out of this thing and uh, get this side cover off and uh, see what we got to do to get this thing installed here. All right. First steps we got going here is you got to take your uh, shifter off, drain the oil, make your side cover off, and probably going to have to drop the skid plate. Yeah, get That's what I was going to do. Loosening that up. Oh. And uh, we'll get this side cover off. Once you get your uh, oil drained, you can uh, pull the side cover off. You're going to have to take the stator out of it. And the ignition it pickup. Yeah, and your ignition pickup and all that. We're going to swap it over. And of course, obviously, we're going to have to pull the flywheel and put a new flywheel on it with the gear for the starter. Take your nut off. Okay, so we got to take off the air box, take the clamp here loose. Then we're going to have to take the ECU off and then the throttle body. So, mm -hmm. and all that's got to come out to make room for the battery to go back in there. And apparently, when you take something out and leave it out. And then the battery goes back in there with some big battery bracket. Where did that thing go? Uh, over there where the battery charges. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the other thing. Let me show you right quick. Oh, uh, I don't know how much juice comes on this battery, but I went ahead and hooked it up to a lithium battery charger here. Let's see what it says. 
Oh, maintaining. So it was uh, it was hot already, fully charged. So here's your battery in the box. So she is hot and ready to go. Alrighty, so we've uh, pulled the tank back. We're going to uh, take out the kill switch and remove the wearing harness. And then you've got the uh, new wearing harness going in. It's got your starter button on it. Relay, kill switch. There's your little choke thing. There's all your battery, <clears throat> battery connectors. Run into a little snag here, FYI, on the uh, flywheel puller. This thing takes a 28 by 1.5 flywheel puller, which is different than every other Honda. So uh, had to order one in. Hopefully it'll be here tomorrow when we can get the flywheel off. <clears throat> Let's quickly take that flywheel off and put this flywheel on. So it's no big deal. But you gotta have the right toe to get it done. All right, a couple of hot tips here. Over there. Got the flywheel swapped, which you know, once you get the right toe, it took about two seconds. Oh, so now you got your, your gears on here. While we're in here, we're, Pulling the oil screen and the oil filter, changing all that. We'll get back fresh with everything. Oh, uh, anyways, one of the hot tips that we do is uh, you put some uh, weather strip adhesive gasket maker underneath your uh, underneath your uh, side cover gasket and glue it to the to the case, and then put a little grease on it so it'll pop off the next time you change the oil, so you don't ruin your uh, gasket every time you change your oil there and you see this one that just come off that gasket's been on this bike for a year and a half i guess um not had no oil leaks or no issues so it's just something to keep in mind uh, of course one of the tips is to to grease this starter before you put it back in there um pretty much got everything got the bracket mounted it goes inside right here wearing harder swapped out Oh, get the new choke deal on the throttle body here. It's got your, this is your new, now your new idle screw. And also it's like a choke uh, to help with the starting. Oh, um, it shows to put the new, a new kill switch on it, uh, which you have to change the ends because it has the wrong ends. Um, but you don't change that part of the harness. So we're actually just gonna put the, uh, the old one back on. Oh. Uh, it just plugs right in, plugs right back into this guy. So, and another hot tip that I have is, uh, you see the kill switch, and I also keep another little spare dangling. That's come in handy more than you think. Oh, somebody lose one of those in the woods, and you got one Johnny on the spot. All right, so we've uh, pretty much got everything mounted up and hooked up. The uh, the one deal that the instructions don't talk a whole lot about is your uh, tilt sensor, bank angle sensor, whatever you want to call it. You actually do away with that to make room for your battery and whatnot in here. So in the process of doing it, there is a bypass plug you can buy, but uh, they sent this little jumper wire. And it looks like you just go outside to outside and uh, if everything's hooked up. Okay. Just a matter of getting everything else buttoned up. All right, tightening up everything, throttle body, clean air, filter back in it, tank back on. I got everything all 
all situated here. Oh, put a little uh, charger thing so you can do the lithium charger without having to get in there. So put that little guy on there so you can charge it up. But about got her wrapped up. Alrighty, so here's some of your leftovers. Got the OEM uh, side case, flywheel, bracket, and your uh, bank sensor. And if you had a uh, case protector on it, you get a new one with the uh, new starter, as you can see. Um, but I pretty much believe we got her. Get everything back together.